Scientific notation is a way to write very, very large numbers or very, very small numbers without adding a lot of extra zeros either before or after a decimal point. For example, on Earth, there is 359 billion billion gallons of water. If I were to write this as a single number, I would have 359 plus 18 zeros So that's how many gallons of water we have on Earth. Well, that's a big way to write it. So they came up with scientific notation. What scientific notation is, it's some number, I'm going to put plus or minus some number, times 10 raised to some power. Okay? where C, the number that's times 10 raised to the power, has to be between 1 and 10. It can be exactly, that's not a 10, that's a 9. It can be exactly 1, but it can't be 10. This has to be a number between 1 and 10, including 1, but not including the 10. Okay. And it can be positive or negative. Okay, and m is an integer. Scientific notation is the only time I will allow you to use an x to indicate multiplication. If m is positive, that means I have a number that is bigger than 10. If m is negative, I have a number that is smaller than 1. Okay. So the way we do it is we write down, so if you're given a big number, you write down the number portion. Okay, the ones parts that has the numbers. You put a decimal point right after the first digit times 10 to the, and now we count how many places I had to move the decimal point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this representation and that representation are identical. Like I said, it could also be used for very small numbers. So Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the negative 23rd. If I wanted to write this number in regular decimal notation, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, we check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
23. So I was, that is the number written down as a decimal. Okay, I will tell you right now, your calculator cannot take that many digits. But your calculator can work w with something written like this. Your calculator, depending upon what setting you have it in, may write this as 3.59 E20. It also may write this as 359 E to the 18th. Okay. Sometimes your calculator, they have regular scientific notation mode and what's called engineering mode. Okay. An engineering mode only gives you exponents to the power of 10 that are multiples of 3, which are our thousands, millions, billions, trillions. Okay. That way I can say that's 359, and if I know what 10 to the 18th is, which is a billion billion, it tells me it's 359 billion billion. So engineers use it in powers of three. Regular scientific notation on your calculator, it may show up as 3.59 times, it says E to the 20th with the capital E there. Okay. Um, ways that we use scientific notation, it follows the exact same rules as exponents. Okay. So for the example, if I give you a multiplication or division problem that has things with all sorts of digits, sometimes it's easier to write them in scientific notation and then deal with them. Okay, so for example, if I have Two, four, oh, 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 times zero point zero zero. I've got five of them in a four five. Over zero, one, two, three, four, and a three and 1500. There is a lot easier way to deal with this. Okay, Turn this into scientific notation. So this is 2.4 times 10 to the, and here's how I do it. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Count how many places you have to move the decimal point. The next one is going to be 4.5 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 3 times 10 to the negative one, two, three, four, five. And now I have 1.5 times 10, one, two, three, cubed. Okay. I'm going to rewrite it so you can see how we're going to use our properties of exponents. This is a multiplication. That's this times this times that times that. Okay? So what we're going to do is I can use my properties of real numbers and rewrite this because multiplication can happen in any order as 2.4 times 4.5 times 10 to the ninth times 10 to the minus 6 over 3 times 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5 times 10 cubed. Okay, 
going to do a couple things in simplification. 3 times 1 and a half is 4 and a half. 4 and a half divided by 4 and a half is 1. So on the top, I am left with 2.4. Okay, 9, so if I multiply things with exponents, I add them, so adding a negative is subtracting. 9 minus 6 is 3. Same thing here. I'm going to add them. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. From our properties of exponents, if I have a negative exponent in the denominator, I move it to the numerator. Okay. Or another way to think about it, I have a quotient of exponents, which says take the top number and subtract the bottom one. 3 minus a minus 2 is 3 plus 2, which is 5. And the final answer would be 2.4 times 10 to the fifth. Okay. So this is how you could use scientific notation and your properties of exponents to simplify problems. And that is all I'm going to cover for scientific notation.